EAFC just got the biggest update of all time and this is gonna change the game forever. Just quickly before I show you everything of this new FC24 career mode updates, I wanted to let you know that tomorrow I'm posting the biggest video of my life. I played over 1000 matches and recorded over 100 hours of footage just for this video. I reset Diego Maradona's career from day one on PES next gen and you do not want to miss it guys. It is going to be uploaded on my new channel Soccer Sander. Make sure to be subscribed because this one you absolutely do not want to miss. Right now on every single console you're able to download these updates and today I'm gonna show you all of the new features including new career mode changes, new shooting updates, face updates, celebrations and much more. Right now I'm here in the arena because they've added a lot of new animations for a few specific players. For example, Erling Haaland has a new shooting style that he actually did in a UCL game this season. So I'm gonna try to get this one in the game right now with Haaland. I'm pretty much gonna do exactly the same as the EA did on their video. And there you can see I got it first time. That is a new shooting style and obviously with Haaland, with Vinicius Jr. that I'm about to show you, they always add, you know, some, uh, some unique shooting styles because they are, you know, the main people of uh, this game. So I really do like that shooting animation a lot. They've also added a brand new skill move for Vinicius Jr. This was another thing that happened in a UCL game this season. They're adding so many new things from the UCL campaign. And basically, it's a new skill move. It says that you have to press L2 and R2 on the PlayStation. But when I do that, literally nothing happens. You can obviously see on animation how it's going to be looking like. But I don't know if this skill move still has not been added or if I'm doing it wrong. But I've been trying for like 20 minutes now to get this skill move and I'm not able to, so... Someone let me know how to do it, please. There's over 90 new face updates in the game. Some of the biggest ones obviously being Rosmus Hoyland from Manchester United and also Jeremy Doku from Manchester City. These two were so requested to get a face updates. I'll go through the rest later in the video. They've also added a new defensive animation. This was from the UCL game between Dortmund and Paris Saint-Germain when Sule had this goal line clearance. This has also now been added into the game. Obviously, it's a bit of a difficult situation to recreate for this video, but I'm sure if you play enough, you're going to be seeing this animation happen from time to time. This might be the big highlight of this update. Obviously a massive celebration that is uh, very popular and it became a meme throughout the season, you know, with uh, different people and stuff recreating it and animals even recreating it as well. It is uh, Jude Bellingham who's got his uh, new celebration now. As you can see, he does that, um, you know, amazing celebration that he does for Real Madrid and Basically, all you have to do is press the X button. That is on PlayStation 5 or PS4. Um, I think it's the A button on um, on Xbox. And yeah, he's going to be pulling that off. But I want to check if there's going to be any different variations of this um, celebration. So first of all, we're going to be scoring it. And we're going to be doing it on the opposite side of the pitch to see if there's any, you know, different camera angles. And it looks very similar to be fair to the one from the other side. I'm gonna be trying one more thing and that is to see what happens if Bellingham runs towards the camera. So let's go this way here and just run towards it. Hopefully it doesn't trigger any other celebrations. And uh, is there gonna be anything unique? I don't think so. So basically guys, you just have to press the uh, X button. This one is not possible to do with any other players, which is a little bit disappointing. So, for example, in career mode or ultimate team, you literally have to have Jude Bellingham to do the celebration. Right now you're seeing every single player who's had a brand new face update and while we are going through this whole list, I'm going to be talking about some more changes as well, which they have indeed done. So first of all, they've got some CPU changes. Legendary AI teams known for Tiki Taka play are less likely to focus on that style of play when near the opponent's penalty area. CPU AI players are more likely to perform shot types based on their respective playstyles when applicable. Players with lower composure attributes are more likely to make mistakes when pressed. Our objective is to give more agency to our players, especially on the defensive side. When defending against legendary CPU, players can now have more time to react and effectively anticipate the CPU AI's moves. 
We also made several changes aimed at creating more differentiation between matches. This includes differences in attacking tendencies between teams and the way they respond to pressure. These changes can make the match-to-match -match experience feel more unique while offering a satisfying challenge. We look forward to seeing player feedback of the legendary CPU changes across career mode and ultimate team. I feel like this was very important for the career mode players because sometimes the way that the legendary CPU behaved was absolutely ridiculous, especially in player career mode when it comes to defending, you know, the whole team playstyle, all of that. So they've been managed to pretty much fix that, which is really great news. Um, but obviously, you do not know until you've actually played against it yourself, so... Yeah, make sure you guys test out the legendary AR to see if there's any differences, but they have focused a lot on that in this update. They've also added some new animations to the jockey playstyle tuning. They've actually changed so many playstyles, it's unbelievable. They have lowered the accuracy and pass quality of first time passes for the Tiki Taka playstyle. For the ping pass playstyle, they decreased accuracy of driven passes. For the ping pass plus, they increased accuracy of driven passes. And of course, the jockey, they reduced maximum possible sprint jockey speed. Press proven playstyle, they reduced shield effectiveness with the ball. Press proven plus, increased shield effectiveness and increased strength attribute effectiveness while shielding. Long ball pass and long ball pass plus, decreased accuracy of crosses. Power header, increased ball speed from lower powered headers. Dead ball, reduced set pieces, uh, preview line length. So, yeah, so many changes guys to the playstyles this is something yet again you might notice a lot when you actually get to play the game yourself so there we have some of the main things about this new update and uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about it there might be some more things as well revealed after this video because literally i'm making this as the update just came out so there might be a few more things you might be noticing yourself when you actually play the game for example i noticed that when you're going through the teams in the kickoff menu it actually looks a little bit different and some of the teams are renamed to what they were before. I also want to mention that tomorrow guys I'm posting the biggest video of my life. I spent over 100 hours of recording this video. It is literally a player career mode from start to finish. It is... Uh, I've, I've, I've been working so hard on it guys and... I cannot wait to release it. It's going to be coming out on a new channel called Soccer Sander. So please go ahead and subscribe to that channel right now. And as I said, tomorrow from when this video comes out, it is going to be going live. And I really need all your support I can get on that video. But that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this new update. I will see you tomorrow with that massive video. Peace out.